How's it going, guys? We're going to go ahead and take a look at MC Soft Anti Malware Home 2024. All right, guys, this is what it looks like once you install it. Now, to install it, you can go ahead and go to mcsoft.com. When you go up here to protection and go to Anti Malware Home, and you can get a free trial. That's what we're using right now. So if you click here on free 30 day trial, it'll install it. It'll take you to this website here, actually, here. And then click on download and install protection right here it'll download it then you can install it and then once you install it, this is what it looks like here now this is just what i noticed so far guys this is just an antivirus and uh, firewall uh, type of protection uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at it but before we uh hold on a sec before we uh look at it let's take a look at what the what it costs so it for one year so it's going to cost you forty dollars a year just this is just for layered protection scanning and cleaning and email and chat support they do have a uh, business security but i mean you got to have a business to want to be interested in that so like i said it's, it's pretty basic because all it does is um all it does is antivirus but let's go ahead and take a look at it so if you click here on protection you notice it's got a behavior blocker now this well here at the beginning it's kind of user friendly. not really this is not very user friendly somebody that does not know much about computers looks at this and they're going to be like what do i do <laughs> but anyway we're going to go ahead and take a click here on protection and see it has behavior blocker and here it has um here it has all your programs or apps like they call them now and if you notice here, it says not monitored, but you can go ahead and right click and edit rule and say trusted, blocked, whatever you want to do. This is for each program. So you could do that. And that's for the behavior blocker. It's got a file guard as well. Uh, the scan level, uh, you could change it from, from thorough, from default, which is what it is now, to thorough to paranoid. Paranoid is just going to look at every, anything and everything. And I recommend that actually keep it on paranoid level because you really you don't want nothing to get through malware detections. Uh, you can select if you want to quarantine with notification or quarantine silently or just alert you first. Pup detections and I think pup stands for um, potentially unwanted programs. Yeah. And here same thing quarantine with notification. That's kind of what I would like it to be at paranoid with quarantine with notification. Um, web protection on. And here you can add new rules if you want to do that. Web protection. Same thing. We we're just looking at it now, actually. Let's go back to the home page. Now, the scan. If you want to scan for potential viruses, just click here on scan and clean. Uh, don't do a quick scan, guys. I call it a cheap scan. Uh, do a malware scan right here. That'll be uh, that. That's the equivalent of a full scan with MCSoft. That's the scan that I recommend you guys do. And what's cool is while it's scanning, you can go ahead and do whatever you got to do. It doesn't take too much resources, it seems like. So you're good there. Um, also, when you click here, you can also do a scheduled scans if you want to schedule a certain. Um, let me see, how do you do this? So right now it says it's scanning. We do the scheduled scans. Here it is. Add new. If you wanted to scan um, every. Uh, wait, at. So here we go. At. I like to do weekly on Sundays. Here's Sunday at, you could do midnight. Usually I do midnight, like 1 a.m. or 12 a.m. right there. Boom. So now it's going to do it every Sunday at 12 a.m. You just leave your computer on and it'll do it. Um, and you can go to scanner settings here. So there's a lot of settings you can go through here. But like I said, guys, it is mostly an antivirus program. And the performance impact, you could change here. Scan with highest priority for best speed. If you do that, your computer is going to go really slow, guys. If you do reduce priority for improved multitasking, that's so you can multitask while it's scanning. Now, if you have a badass computer with a lot of gigs of RAM, the latest and latest, uh, latest and greatest uh, processor, you could probably do it with scan with highest priority and still be able to get stuff done. I've done it before. But uh, it just depends on your computer, guys. It's got an emergency kit maker. Now, this is a portable can be used and scan and clean infected third-party computers. Already available scanner resources on this computer are used. Missing uh, components will be downloaded. So yeah, so you could save that to a flash drive and use it on another computer, which is pretty cool. I like that. 
Um, if you go to the quarantine here, we can see what's been quarantined. You can look at it. You can delete it. Say, hey, that was a false detection. Restore it, whatever you guys want to do. And that's about it, guys. The firewall, it's right here. Make sure it's always on. Uh, content filtering's off. It looks like I can't use it until... I don't think I could use it, guys, until... Um... Where, I? Where was I? Okay, because I'm using the trial. Doesn't let you use it in the trial. Looks like it looks like here. It's got a network lockdown. A network lockdown will disable all network connectivity. I'm gonna cancel that. But you could do that. Like if you think something's trying to get into your computer, you need to lock it down. Boom! You hit here. Silent mode. You could turn it on. I think that disables all notifications. And then if you want support from MCSoft, you click here on support. Send an email. You can look at frequently asked questions or submit a suspicious. There is no number. Ah, I hate I hate freaking companies that have no number to call a man. I hate that. So uh, that right there, I don't like about MCSoft. All you can do is send an email, frequently ask questions, or submit a suspicious file. That's it. So if we go to the web platform here. Here's the web platform. Maybe you, it makes you do workspaces here. And uh, you go to the workspace. There's really nothing much you could do here in the workspace. It's weird. Um, Here's my computer, sure, but it's protected. Okay. I mean, why why have this web um, interface here? I don't know. But anyway, guys, that concludes this review, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I will give MCSoft, um, because it's just antivirus. Um, before we actually give MCSoft a review, let's see what PC Magazine had to say about it. All right, so here we are at PC Magazine, and... Uh, PC Magazine gave them a 3.5 out of 5, which is good. Uh, the bottom line is that it handles the basic task of defending against malware, including ransomware, and offers comprehensive remote management. There's the price again, uh, 40 a uh, year. The pros is it has behavioral detection successfully blocks ransomware. Good score in the test. And we're going to take a look at the test here, see how it did. Online console allows full remote management. Also, that's what the online console is for, so you can, re so you can manage it remotely. Okay, now it makes sense. Browser independent blocking of dangerous sites. So no scores for independent laps. So we don't know exactly how it's going to do. Mediocre protection against phishing frauds. Now, if you're going to be paying for something, guys, you want to make sure it can do it all. All right. Just saying. On demand malware scan. This is the specs that it has. On access malware scan. It does not have website rating, which is uh, website rating is kind of annoying anyway, in my opinion. <laughs> Malicious URL blocking. At least you got that. Phishing protection. Behavior based detection. It does not have vulnerability scan. It says no firewall. I thought I saw a firewall in there. It says firewall right here. Oh, it uses Windows firewall. Ah, <laughs> it's using the Windows firewall. It does not have a firewall of its own. Let's take a look at the test. See how it did in the test. Looks like an ad wanted to play right there. Here it is, MCSoft. None. No tests done. So we have no idea, guys, how it does. It does not, It is not in the test results, which is uh, not good. That's not good. We don't know for sure how it does. Here's another test. Okay, here we go. Malware protection test. Never mind. Here's the test itself. All right. Protection score is 9. 9 out of 10. That's that's really good, guys. Detection rate, 97%. Malicious URL. What was the test up here? Lab results. Okay, okay. But they did do a malware protection test, and the malware protection test it did pretty good. 9.0 out of 10. Detection rate was 97%. Malicious URL block is 93%. That's good. That's good. So I'm going to have to give MCSoft a... Um, it, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. 3.5. I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5, which is, a, I think, what PC Magazine gave it to. Yeah. And the reason why is because it's missing... Uh, I would like it to have utilities, like a cleanup utility, speed up your computer utility, um... Stuff like that. So, some utilities would be nice in here. All it has is antivirus, anti-malware. If it had utilities, I would give it a 4 out of 5. But because it does not have utilities, 3.5. Same thing that PC Magazine gave it. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you soon in the next video.